Hi there, Natalie with you today with a new process video for Pink Face Studio and I'm so excited to share my first assignment as part of the design team. Uh, the design team. And this time I'm going to use the office hours collection for my project. And the first one I'm going to show you, I think it's actually the second one I created, but the first one is going to be on the Pink Face Studio channel is my ode to coffee. And I love the office hours collection. There are lots of elements that you can use for many things. But I'm going to actually find all the ones that had to do with coffee to create this layout. Now, I fell in love with the B side of the organized this um, paper. All those uh, ombre stripes just gave me the idea of creating a title using the Adore Alpha um, for this layout. So what I did is I cut a four inch strip of the paper and I'm going to die cut the letters so that they're centered um, on the layout. And fortunately, the size of the alpha fits into one of the stripes. So, um, and also it's, it actually worked out um, is that the word coffee, it's uh, gonna spell right in the center. And I'm gonna have like the lightest and the darkest stripe are gonna remain um, in complete. So it's gonna center my title really nicely. So once I cut that and I save the center of the O because I'm actually gonna prop it with some foam adhesive, I think, not I think, I'm gonna actually add a little bit of mixed media to the background. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add yes to my page and I'm using double thickness cardstock, which is smooth white cardstock, and it's gonna with um it's gonna hold the mixed media really nicely without warping. But the one thing I'm doing is I'm adding yes, so just this is like a primer, it's gonna protect the paper from warping. And also from uh, the paper soaking up the, in this case, I'm going to use the liquid watercolor to soak in it in. And it's going to give me some time to play with some of the colors, kind of be able to mix them. So what I'm doing is I'm adding uh, the yeso, uh, kind of on a diagonal shape. But I'm going to make sure that um, the yeso covers the, uh, the area where my title is going to be placed. If you see yeso, it brings a little bit of a tinge of yellow when you add it to white cardstock. So I'm going to take advantage of that color kind of to back the letters that I created on the strip of paper. And I set that aside to dry and I'm going to start working on adding my, my mixed media layers. For this, I'm using the pink fresh liquid watercolor. And one of the things that I don't know if you can appreciate on the, pic, on the, pic, on the video, sorry, is that the picture was transformed to black and white. I just make sure that the circle where I'm holding the coffee, I stay in color. But the mat that is underneath the, the cup of coffee is like this teal mat. So I'm going to bring some of that. And that's the same color that also repeats, um, that's included in the collection. So for that, I'm mixing a little bit of aquamarine with a little bit of sky blue. And that's my little tray that's only for Pink Free Studio. I have every single color and I'm able to mix them there. Uh, you see that I bring a little piece of paper. Uh, this is just a branding strip from the paper that I just cut. This is going to help me make sure that the color that I'm using, it's the one that is going to show on the paper. So once I like a mix, I add a little bit of my teal and the way I apply mixed media, it varies in different ways. Uh, this way, all I did is add some water. I just sprinkle a little bit of water because the paper is uh, primed with yeso. It actually stays afloat. So I'm able to add the pigment and kind of move it around just to give me like a very organic watercolor look. So I added first, like I said, a combination of teal, um, no, sorry, aquamarine with sky blue, and that gives me the teal look. And then to get to the yellow that is in the in the collection, I'm going to mix a little bit of the sunshine with espresso, and that's going to give me a kind of more of a mustardy, richer yellow. And then again, you're going to see that I'm going to just kind of add splotches of the color um, to the area where the picture is going to be seated. And then remember, like I said, I'm going to create kind of a diagonal look. I'm going to make sure that I add no mixed media where the letters are going to be placed. A little bit my seep or like show because of the location of the, the title, but I'm going to try to keep it as clean as I can in that area. Now to bring, um, like I said before, like I created kind of a diagonal look for this. So I'm going to take advantage of that. It is supposed to be a top left corner um, in the layout, but I flipped the page 180. It just helps me with adding the mixed media. And for that, I am bringing some of the tones that you see in the B side of the, in the yeah, the B side of the organized this paper, which is what all the ombre strips are, ombre stripes, sorry. And for that, I am mixing a little bit of candy apple with uh, clementine, and that's the red and the orange. And that's going to give me the, uh, the tone and some water just to tone down the colors. 
And again, I'm just adding a little bit of water and then adding the pigment, or in this case, the watercolor on top, and just moving it around. And one thing that if you have seen my work before or you haven't seen it is I love splatters. So a lot of my work gets started with splatters and then I fix it with splatters. Uh, it's just something that I enjoy. So you're going to see that I'm going to make sure that um, the two areas where I'm adding the color have a, a healthy combination of all the colors that I'm using. I'm going to add a little bit of sky blue, a little bit of a deeper tone of green, just because those are the colors that um, are in the collection. And you're going to see every so often, I'm going to bring the die cut in this case and the picture just to make sure that what I have on the background it has enough coverage. I want the mixed media to peek from behind the picture and the title, uh, making sure that, like I said, the space where the letters are placed are remained uh, with no mixed media, just the yes. So, and also that I have enough mixed media peeking out without overtaking the page. Now, because I'm working with coffee, I had this idea that I wanted to create uh, the rim or the watermarks that coffee sometimes leaves on a table or on, on um, or, or anything whenever the, there's a little bit of spillage. So to create this, all I'm going to do is actually add a little bit of the espresso liquid watercolor. Are you going to see it in a little bit? I'm just finishing my, um, and um, I'm going to bring either a lid um, or the bottom of a cup. I happen to have uh, an addiction to coffee, so I have a lot of. Um, already non-recyclable um, coffee cups, especially from Starbucks. I know it's it's kind of a snobbish on the coffee too. Uh, and um, what I do is I actually, I'm gonna use the lid and the bottom of the cup to create this. So like I said, all I'm doing is adding a little bit of the espresso liquid water color, a little bit of water, and then I'm kind of run the rim of the, the cup on it just to kind of, um, add a little bit of color on it and then I'm gonna literally I'm just going to I'm gonna say think of it as stamping it on the page but because I'm adding the water I'm kind of rotating it slightly in spot and that's gonna create that uh, round watermark look like cups sometimes leave on tables or anything when there's a little bit of coffee spilled and then just to complete the look I am actually gonna add splatters and for that I am just gonna load the paper the paintbrush with the ink and then just um literally just splatter on the page and that's pretty much what uh the back was gonna look like i'm gonna make sure that it completely dries before i continue working so what that happened i just added a bit of foam adhesive behind the die cut that i created and then i'm just gonna go ahead and place it um right when that area would i have left the empty space for the title to sit now to start working on the picture i am actually gonna bring this paper i think it's called it's called office supplies and it's the one that has all the office supplies on one side and the B side has that beautiful blue stripe with the black polka dots. So I'm going to back the picture with that just to make sure that it stands out on that sea of color that I have there. And then I'm going to bring in um, one of the notes. I can't remember the name of the paper story, but I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut a uh, fussy cut, the green uh, note of the paper. And then I'm going to use it as a layer behind the picture. I'm okay if like the entire, doesn't cover the entire picture. That's okay with me. I actually wanted a little bit offset just because I want to break a little bit of the color in the background and make it stand out. I am going to add a little bit of foam adhesive behind it just to make sure that it's higher than the title a little bit. And then I really like that little note ephemera um, piece. And I thought it was going to be just a great compliment just to kind of peek from behind the picture. And it also has the color of the mat. So I'm just trying to work with everything that I have uh, that's going to bring that flare of coffee to the layout. And now that I have the picture in place, I am actually going to start working on finishing the title. For this, I am bringing the super beautiful um, script alpha. And I love the color. I love the font. It's amazing. So I'm going to finish uh, creating the title. It's going to be Coffee Time. And uh, I decided on this because one of the perks of working from home is that you can have coffee time anytime that you want to. And I am from Ecuador. Um, I was brought up on coffee. So for me, like, I can have coffee instead of water at any moment. So that's a perk for me. So now what I'm going to just, uh, to finish the page, I'm sorry, I'm just going to go ahead and embellish. And I try to pull the elements that had to do with the office and that had to do with coffee. And there's plenty of them in the collection. So I'm going to use some of the car stock stickers, the chipboard sticker, and I'm just going to try to create clusters. Uh, I'm trying to combine all the shapes that I have. Uh, sorry, sorry, and all the colors. But what I'm going to make sure is that I repeat circles. 
so either through an enamel bar or some of the round um, uh, shape just because I want to continue the look that I have with the little um, coffee stamps or uh, rims that I created also with the shape of the cups you're gonna see that I'm gonna bring a little clock at the uh, on the cluster that I'm creating I'm gonna bring some of the little enamel dots that come in the mix embellishment pack to some of the areas and then I'm just gonna continue building um, the embellishment cluster just by adding some of the stickers uh there's so much to choose from the beautiful those are flags that are made out of fabric are great uh one because they're malleable so you can actually shape them and they don't add that much thickness so instead of gluing and i just staple it to the picture and all i'm going to do right now is i find this little sticker in the sticker sheet but it has like some office supplies on the on the right hand side corner I'm just going to add one of the die cuts that say coffee with a little heart and prop it with a little bit of foam adhesive. And that's going to be the perfect area for me to add my lines of journal. After that, I'm just going to come. Sorry, I'm just going to add a few more decorations and I'm going to bring in a heart and the heart. I brought it from the Everyday Musings Buffy Stickers collection just because I wanted some of that, uh, that kind of tealish look. Again, I'm just adding some of the enamel dots, like I said, because I want to repeat the circle um, figures in this layout. And that's about it. I love how this turned out. Um, love it. Again, I'm, I'm a coffee fanatic, so anything that has to do with coffee is a plus on my book. But this collection is so versatile. You'll be surprised what you can do. So um, don't hesitate to ask me any questions if you have, like, you know, a concern about how anything of this came together. Don't forget to check out the collection. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.